INCW episode, uh, season five, episode nine, um, uh, the, the, the Chet Lemon games. There we go. You know, Chet Lemon's not here. I'm just going to be here because I forgot I was going to do it. So screw Chet Lemon. <laughs> All right. We got Jasmine versus Boots. Uh, since since you couldn't hear what was going on, um, you can't have. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I knew he was gonna say Boots can get it, <laughs> but you can't have Door the Destroyer without Boots. So uh, and that's Boots with a Z, not Boots with an S. So yeah, Boots is now an official member of INCW just as well as Door the Destroyer. Uh, Going one on one against Jasmine. Uh, Brittany Bennett is in the back. She's not going to come out here. She's prepping for her match against Betty Blackwell a little bit later on. Um, if Betty Blackwell wins, uh, that's it. Betty Blackwell will become the number one contender for the INCW Women's Championship. However, uh, if Brittany Bennett wins, then next week we will have the seventh. And final match, I believe. Yeah. To determine who uh, the number one contender is. A cruiserweight swiper. <laughs> Let's see how Boots does in her debut here in INCW. Jasmine lined up in the corner. Boots surveying the arena. Her first time here. Oh! Jasmine with the, the Samoan spike out of the corner. Or out the gate, rather. Sweep of the legs by Boots. Jasmine with big superplex right there. Snap, snap suplex, rather. And then Boots... Fist to face, now putting the boots to work. Jasmine has boots up. And, ooh, hung her out to dry on the top rope. Going after the leg now. I mean, if your name is Boots, I can understand going after the leg. Ooh, boots with the mule kick. And then kicking Jasmine in the back. Grinding those red boots into the side of Jasmine's face. Pulling on the arm, trying to dislocate that shoulder. And now Boots going to the top rope. Oh, went for a big leg drop. No payoff. No, no water in the pool, however you want to put it. Goes for the pin here. One. No. Boots with the kick out. Jasmine with a kick of her own and drops the knee right across Boots. <laughs> Those boots were made for kicking ass. <laughs> Jasmine off the top rope with a crossbody. Beautiful, beautiful crossbody by Bo Jasmine. If only she could get different colored tights. We've been asking that, but it hasn't happened. Beautiful drop kick also. Now Boots, Boots with a snap suplex of her own. And drop kick to the back of the head. Boots gonna drag Jasmine to the center. Got her in a gut wrench. Boots got some power game of her own. Big gut wrench suplex from a deadlift position. Big right hand. Oh, wow! Inverted power slam by Boots. What is she looking for here? Maybe to finish off Jasmine? No. Jasmine with an elbow to break it up. Elbows to the face. Boots dusting her hands off. Easy claps, ladies and gentlemen. Easy claps. And slingshot back into the corner. Or into the ropes, rather. Boots is sent into the corner. Low drop kick right to the lower back. Jasmine kick to the midsection. 
with the curb stomp by Jasmine. Goes for the pin. One. Two. No. Boots rolls her shoulder over. <laughs> All right. Jasmine going to work again. Jasmine has controlled most of this match, which is not surprising. Uh, former women's champion, if I remember correctly, all the way across the ring and missed every bit of it with that elbow drop. And flashback by Boots. Boots letting the fans know they're losers. Haven't seen that since the 90s. Oh, and a big boot from Boots. Sends Jasmine to the outside. Referee with a count of one. Boots now ascending the ropes. Oh, six star, six star hop from the top rope by Boots. Kick to the midsection. Oh, Boots caught her the strength into a backbreaker. Boots is deceptively powerful. Sends Jasmine back inside. Stomp to the back. We are five minutes into this match. Jasmine will take control, and then it'll swing back in Boots' favor. Boots with a standing moonsault. Great athleticism by the newcomer. She looking for here. Oh, and a big elbow drop. Might want to go for a pin off of that one. No. Elbow drop to the right to the heart. Went for for a belly to belly again and Jasmine reversed Jasmine with the fisherman buster oh locked it up with the pin one no just a one count Jasmine now oh rake the eyes by boots boots went for a superman punch Jasmine with the reversal has her caught up and boom with the Samoan driver Jasmine now, big right hand, and another just sling blade by Jasmine. Boots is rocked, and as I say that, she catches Jasmine with an uppercut. Reversal, and Jasmine with the face plant on Boots, goes for the pin here. One, no, just a one count, what is going on here? Boots might be more of an issue than Dora the Destroyer. Looked like, looked like Jasmine was going for a bear hug there. Didn't quite get it. And now we have Jasmine ascending the ropes. All the way to the top. Boots hasn't shown any signs of life yet. She's now up. Jasmine flying with a crossbody, but Boots caught her. Boots caught Jasmine again and a slam. Drop the elbow. Boots is a powerhouse. Big European uppercut. Jasmine with the sunset flip. Goes for the pin. One, two. No, almost had it. Jasmine holding her side or her ab, ab area. Looks a little, little injured right there. Oh, and a jumping DDT by Boots. Boots lining up again. Whatever she's going for, it's from like a belly belly. Nope, got her in a big Uranagi. Uranagi slam. Boots has probably finished this match with that one. Third time is the charm. One, two. Oh, Jasmine kicked out at two. Jasmine kicked out at two. Boots is not having it. She's going for another Uranagi. Has a hold of Jasmine, has her up, this time center of the ring, no wasted movement of dragging her, goes for the pin here, one, two, and no, Jasmine kicked out again, Jasmine is not giving up, she's out here by herself, she knows that Bennett is in the back watching on the monitors, boom, big atomic drop, and again, into a scoop slam. Boots has taken full control of this match, but the former women's champion is not going down. Big Tornado DDT right there. Boots goes for the pin. One, 
Two. No! An even stronger kick out. It's like Jasmine gets better as the match goes on. Again, a third Uranagi. Good lord. The power of boots. One, two, three. It took three of them to put Jasmine down. Good. If that doesn't speak volumes to her level of, of, of wrestler, I don't, I don't know what does. Look at this right here. Beautiful curb stomp that we didn't even show because our guys in the truck have terrible replay skills. The reversals just left and right. <clears throat> Boots celebrating her debut match as well as her debut victory. Dora the Destroyer just waiting ominously outside the ring. All right. That was our opening contest. It can only get better from here, folks. Well, I mean, I don't know. That was pretty solid. But we have some tag team action as Thunder and Lightning face off against the baddies. These two teams right here are the top tier teams in the INCW Women's Tag Team Division. And I mean the top two because they're the only two. Jasmine and Bennett are also in a team, but right now ja they're separate doing their own things so i mean you really can't build any type of tag team camaraderie whenever you have one member of the team like focusing on a singles whatever you can't blame her for it she wants to try to go for the the title but that's that's just where we're at right now so that being said if y'all have any ideas on who what women you would like to see on a tag team i know i already saw boots and blue pants but i don't know if we have the money to sign blue pants um if we do hey you know what we can make that happen but if y'all have any ideas for any women's tag teams let me know because that's the only thing keeping me from putting a tag a women's tag team division out here uh i just don't i don't know who to pair with who i don't know um i i, I don't i don't know how the tournament would go at first um because we we have such a shallow women's division uh there's there's talent but there's not a number of them. So with that, we're not able to uh, we're not able to provide, I don't know, what's it called? Um, like I don't want to turn everybody into a tag team, but I don't know who should be tag teams aside from who's tag teams right now. It's the best way to say it. Uh, so if y'all have any ideas, let me know. Um, we can we can knock it out. If we get if we can get six six tag teams i will do a tournament and we no you know what eight we'll get eight so we can do four matches and we will crown the first ever incw women's tag team champions at i'd new mania five guaranteed shoot if we can get that i will have the women's tag team championship match main event i'd new mania five guaranteed Send in your submissions to the Discord, uh, to anything, any any way, shape, or form. Send in your submissions on who you want to be on a team. We got Big Thunder and Lady Lightning. Making their way down to the ring. Uh, just out of curiosity, can y'all hear entrance music when they're going to the ring? I forgot to ask last week. I don't understand how the rope does that. Like, Big Thunder. Okay, cool. That's good. I, I want there to be music, but at the same time, I don't want us to get shut down because there's no music. Or because there is music, so. Also tonight, um, 
We have Dan Smith versus VX for the INCW Twitch Championship. The baddies making their way down to the ring now. Uh, we also have... Um, oh, what's his name? Oh, due to the attack last week, or a couple of weeks ago, on Milk Dud, who is still in critical condition, I might add. Um, due to the attack on Milk Dud last week, or a couple weeks ago, uh, Fatback has decided to challenge Victor Sokolov for uh, in the uh, Sokolov Invitational. Um... Best of luck to that man, but I don't, I don't really know. I don't know how that's gonna pan out. <laughs> I, I, I hope, I hope Fatback can can make it happen, but I just Sokolov is a monster, and the camp has a lot of gold right now, which means the camp has a lot of power. They're holding down the tag team division and. Out of nowhere, we got Sokolov taking out the tag team members, so we, we just we don't know what to do. Leg drop by Queen Jolene onto Lady Lightning. These two had a match last week. Hell of a match. No, it was week before last. Hell of a match. Uh, if Fatback wins, he becomes number one contender and gets a title shot uh, for Victor Sokolov's title. Pele kick by Lady Lightning put Queen Jolene right on her ass. Lady Lightning back it up. Oh, and a running knee. Queen Jolene sent into enemy territory here. Oh, no. This is never good. Oh, a spear and a clothesline. But Queen Jolene was playing possum. She got a hold of Big Thunder with the quickness, and now she's tagging in her sister, Carly Lynn. <laughs> and Big Thunder dispatches of Carly Lynn with the quickness. Uh, me and Queen Jolene had a discussion, and she will no longer be doing that maneuver where she just runs for 20 minutes. That has been resolved. We got the jab and the forearm fire and back and forth. Queen Joel or Carly Lynn and Big Thunder. Carly Lynn now opening up a can of whoop ass. And ooh, head first. Head first. The ref. What is the ref at? Ref is at a count of seven. Oh no. Oh no. This has happened so many times before. Referee is at a count of eight. Oh my god. Nine. Double count out. <laughs> oh man. These these ladies right here, they are not meant to have a definitive winner. We'll, we'll be revisiting that next week. We will be re revisiting that next week. That is a guarantee. But let's get on to the INCW Twitch Championship match. Dan Smith. These two guys right here, Dan Smith and VX, their styles are so vastly different. They they don't complement each other. Um, they they're I don't I don't know how to put it. Um, Dan's more of your technical like shoot style wrestler, with VX being more of your your brawler, your your high risk taker. So th this should be an interesting match, and the Twitch Championship is on the line. Let's go ahead and get some uh, get some wagers in here. Who do we think is going to win this match?
we've got, I mean, you can go with the technical stylings of Dan Smith. You can go with the, I don't know, man. You can go with the everything styling of, uh, what is it, uh, VX. The choice is yours. Also, let's get up to some double-digit views. Let's get a giveaway going. Like, we haven't had a giveaway in a hot minute. And I was just scrolling down while I'm waiting on these interests to be over to look at what's in the giveaway pot right now. There's some good stuff in there. There's at least one thing in there I want. So can we please get some level of giveaway going? <laughs> I don't ever win them. But it's nice to have a, it's nice to think I have a chance. And here comes your Twitch champion, VX, or Devil Slayer, or Slayer, or whatever he wants to be called. Yes, VX is definitely on a roll, definitely needs to keep that momentum. Win channel points if you make the correct prediction. Look at that, we got predictions going on up here. The Anub Slayer. Alright, we're going to predict. My prediction is for... I'm going to throw 50000 on Dan Smith. I got 50,000 on Dan Smith. What do y'all think? What? Come on, y'all got some points. Use them points. You could win more points. You could take my 50,000 points. Oh, there we go. We got 60K on Dan Smith and 50K over on VX. Submission's closing in 20 minutes. The match won't even take that long, probably, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, big oofs. Closing the bet window. Do you know how many hydration breaks you can do? So many hydration breaks off of voting. Like, or off of 50k or 60k rather. Boom, see? I got to hydrate right now. Alright, we got Dan Smith getting pumped up over there in the corner. Now we got VX over in the other corner. <clears throat> you could drown me. A lot of people could drown me. Oh yeah, no. I definitely appreciate that. I will blow my voice out so fast. That's what it's all about right there. That beautiful purple Twitch championship. And here we go. Oh, out the gate with the big haymakers. Dan Smith looked like he was going for the typical collar and elbow tie up. But VX wanted nothing to do with that. And now a fireman's carry. Just throwing haymakers left and right. Has Dan Smith up on the shoulder. Dan Smith out the back door with an inverted DDT. Kick to the back. And again with another kick to the back. Good lord. Dan Smith looking to tear him apart. Has a hold of that arm looking to tear that rotator cuff. If you have any friends that you know would like to be watching this, go ahead and tweet them out. I know they're probably doing Valentine's Day things because it's Valentine's Day. I understand. But if you think they might... Oh, nice! Side headlock suplex right there. 
sweep of the leg from uh, from VX. But no, if you know anybody who who might be want to be might want to be watching this right now, go ahead and let them know. One, go no, looking for that first pinfall. Didn't get a hold of it. Kick to the back again. Oh, and a clothesline into the corner by Dan Smith. Kick to the midsection. What's he looking for here? Slingshot. That is very much not like him. <laughs> that is not the Dan Smith I have seen before. One, no. Much like Mr. INCW, it looks like Dan Smith can just adapt to whatever style may be in the ring with him. Ooh, and a big DDT. Punch to the gut. And Smith out the back door. Uppercut again from VX. Has Smith taking him to the ropes. Got him there just in time. And a slingshot back to the center of the ring. VX telling him to get up. Best two out of three falls for this match here. And got that rear naked choke applied. Smith getting back to his feet here. Elbows. Repeated elbows. Oh, went for a kick to the midsection. Didn't get any of it. And it looks like we got a stalemate. Kick to the midsection again. Smith. Oh, with the tiger, uh, tiger bomb. Steps through, has a, a submission hold applied, has the leg holding the arm, and then yanking and cranking on the neck here. Got him. Ooh, and right across the back of the neck. Big spinning kick by VX. Goes for the pin here. One, two, no. Barely a two count. VX slightly annoyed. Anybody else willing to vote to see who they think is going to win? What is VX thinking here? You can He can get himself disqualified. All right, he had a change of plans. A change of heart. What is he doing here? Why? You can get disqualified, dude. Where was this whenever the hardcore title was here? Oh, busted him wide open with an elbow shot. Dan Smith not having any of it. Looking for that suplex and then got an arm ringer. Big roundhouse kick again by Slayer. Goes for the pin. One, two, no, barely a two count again. Dan Smith is not staying down. Got that rear chin lock applied. I called it a rear naked choke earlier. I was incorrect. That is definitely a chin lock. Got it locked in there pretty tight too. But Dan Smith getting back to a vertical base. Couple of elbows to the midsection. Breaks away. Oh, goes for the splash. Misses every bit of it. VX with the driver needs to go for the pin right here. What's he doing? Why is he going to the top? You don't need to do that. You could have went for a pin. Oh, went for the shooting star press and missed every bit of it. Has a hold of Dan Smith again. Stalemate once again. Could not get a position. Dan Smith with the roll through. Has the arm captured full on submission here. Has VX's entire left side tied up like a pretzel. VX able to fight out. Got a hold of that leg right there. Ooh, and a big boot just shuts him down. Goes back to the top rope. Wants to end this in a flashy style from the looks of it. And catches knees with that shooting star press. Dan Smith with a kick to the midsection. Hoists him up and a big vertical suplex. Kick to the midsection and then giving him the business. 
Yes, thank you for the follow. I, I didn't I didn't see it happen, but I appreciate you being here. Thank you for following us, Dan Smith. Got the arms trapped. Ooh, the knees to the chest goes for the pin. One, two, three. Dan Smith picks up the first pinfall. Has a hold of Slayer's legs. Rolls through. Goes for the quick pin again. One. No, just a one count. Wow, that would have been an upset. Smith is out of breath. He can barely stay up to a vertical position. VX once again on the attack. Focusing primarily on the head. Might be setting up for that tombstone pile driver that he's been famous for. He needs to quit going to the top rope. Now just laying in right hands. He needs to quit going up there looking for that shooting star press. He needs to just go ahead, stick to what he knows, the roundhouse kicks, the tombstone pile driver. Let's just keep it simple here and retain our title. Dan Smith, on the other hand, he needs to keep doing everything he's doing. Weather the storm. Don't worry about the nonsense. Don't focus on the blood coming out of your face. Just... Get the pinfall, get the win, get it done. You have to get you have to get VX back in the ring. You have to. You cannot win out there. You can get your second pinfall, but you will not go home with the title. Oh, VX with the flip out of it, but Smith threw him back in the ring. Smith with another submission hold. This is what I was talking about, just being a shoot wrestler, focusing on joint manipulation, and just causing, like, muscle contortion and pain. Look, here he goes again. Oh! VX with the reversal has a hold of him. And goes after the arm. Wise. Ooh! Big roundhouse kick again. Go for the pin, kid. One. Two. No! Just a two count. VX doing his best. Going to the top rope again. It hasn't worked the first two times. Why is it going to work this time? Shooting star press because I was wrong. I was wrong. It connected. Go for the pin. Get it. Get the pin right now. One, two, three. We are tied up at one to one. The next pinfall gets the Twitch championship here. VX can look to retain it in a nefarious manner by just brutalizing Dan Smith on the outside. VX can retain if it's a count out. Dan Smith cannot win if it's a count out. And again, Smith has a hold of him. Ooh, the chest crusher once again goes for the pin, has the arm trapped to. Oh! Ooh, at the last possible second, VX managed to kick out. What is Smith looking for here? Smith, the arm ringer, got reversed. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful counter. Beautiful counter right there by Smith. Has the legs tied up again, going for another submission hold. VX has his hand all under the ropes and the ref is not breaking them. What is happening? Really? Re really? I I can't believe we just saw that. VX clearly had his hands under the ropes and the ref didn't break it what is going on here I, you know, I said that, that VX could walk out of there by nefarious means, but apparently Dan Smith is is not immune to that to that stipulation. Um I mean I I just won a lot of points. 
but I, I don't whatever I I, I okay I anyways on on to the next match yeah if Slayer didn't have anything to say soon or earlier you're gonna have something to say now I have a feeling that Fatback's undercard status is really going to help him out here. Think about it. Think about it like this. Fatback has been involved in, I think, two hardcore title reigns when we didn't think he would be able to do it. Fatback has, like, challenged for, for a, quite a bit. And, and, like, we never thought that he would make it to the point he is now, but here he is. And now he's squaring up with Victor Sokolov, the, the heavyweight champion. I got I got another 50,000 on Fatback here. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Fifty thousand on fat back. My my reasoning behind it, like it's not just the under it's not just the underdog feel that fat back always carries with him. It's the fact that fat back he sure he had a shot. At the him, the Malibu's most wanted. Um, Malibu's most wanted had a shot at the tag titles. They lost their shot at the tag titles. That's fine. Lose, you know, work your way back up the ladder. That's just the kind of team that Malibu's most wanted is. But then when Victor Sokolov, another member of the camp, went backstage. And demolished Milk Dud? Like, come on. You 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 have to know that at that point, Fatback is going to have something to say. And it's going to be a very physical discussion. Why not have it be when the individual who's backstage jumping people has an invitational? When he open challenges every week. Just go get him. Tear him apart. Get in there. Give it everything you got. Even if you don't beat him. Make him remember that he should not mess with Malibu's most wanted. All right, and here we go. Fat back out the cool. I told you he was mad. Fat back out the gate with the STO. Man, it, it got shut down quick, but he put it on Sokolov out the gate, and then Sokolov runs right through him. <sighs> Sokolov, fat back, one on one. Sokolov Invitational, and this is the point where Sokolov just goes to work. If Fatback can weather the storm, if he can wear Sokolov down and just rope-a-dope him the entire match, absorb the punishment, take the punishment, and then deal out just enough at the end to get that W, Fatback could be on his way to an INCW Heavyweight Championship match. Look at him! Look at the Titans bouncing off of one another. Fatback, this time with the belly-to-belly -belly suplex, completely caught Sokolov off guard. Jumps over. And here comes Prescott. George Prescott making his presence felt again. Oh, and a release German by Sokolov. That's three weeks in a row, effectively, that he's hitting people arguably larger than him with a move that requires him to throw them over his head. Sokolov is a destructive force of nature across multiple, count multiple promotions. He is the heavyweight champion of PWA. He is the heavyweight champion of INCW. I really think it's only a matter of time before he's the heavyweight champion of NWCW. Like, at that point, wh what, what are we looking at there? Like, who at that point who's the actual NWC champion? Is it the guy who holds the heavyweight title for all three promotions or is it the guy that holds the NWC world title? Like you have no way of knowing at that point. 
Now, granted, I would love to see a scenario where we have Victor Sokolov with three championships fighting Brawler Beckett over his NWC championship. Look at Fatback. Fatback firing back. Setting up. Looks like he's trying to line up that meat hook clothesline already. Will Sokolov stop it or will he get demolished by it? Oh! Just blew through the heavyweight champion and then Sokolov again with the Cobra Clutch into a backbreaker. Oh my god. Prescott. Oh no. No, come on. Come on. Not like... Oh! Sokolov just ran over the ref. Fatback sweeping the legs. Wisely getting getting out of there. Has Sokolov down on the mat. Thank you, ref. Thank you for getting that out of the ring. And a fist drop. Fatback is lining it up. What is he thinking here? Oh, Fatback. Fatback with the fat one nine. He rolled all the way through. Prescott is beside himself. Sokolov has been hit in the face. The fat one nine connects. Goes for the pin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Prescott yet again with it. Ooh. Fatback has the camel clutch applied. Camel clutch applied. And no. Sweeps the legs. Sokolov. Sokolov's going to win this match simply because no. No, he won't. Because Fatback's not having any of it. He looked for the scoop slam. Sokolov at the back and a clothesline. If I was fat back, I would beat the ever-loving hell out of Prescott right now. Prescott, get your hands off of him. Get your hands off of him, Prescott. Oh, and the Siberian leg sweep connects. Goes for the pin. One, two. No, fat back kicked out. Fat back has kicked out. We have ourselves a match. He's looking for that dominator. The dominator comes right after the leg sweep. And fireman's carry. Fatback with the reversal. Fatback with the reversal. Oh, he reversed the shoulder tackle. Caught him with an entire mass of body running into him. That's like getting hit by a planet. Once again, Sokolov looks like he's lining up a dominator. Has a hold of Fatback. Fatback on his shoulders. Oh, dominator plants him. Dragging Fatback away. Goes for the pin here. One, two, oh, oh, Fatback kicked out. Fatback kicked out. Sokolov doesn't know what to think. Big clothesline. Big clothesline by Fatback. He's lining up for that clothesline one more time. Looking for the meat hook. Oh, he went for a spear instead and, it's, and got, got DDT. It, it, it sucks. And another Siberian leg sweep. They are throwing out their finishers like nobody's business. One, two, oh, and three. I thought he was going to kick out of the last minute. Fat back with a valiant effort. But Sokolov, Sokolov just couldn't, just couldn't, wouldn't stay down. Right here. Fatback had the match won right there. And then that happened. Prescott got involved in a match he has no business being in. And I've tried to handle it before. I've tried to deal with that dude before. I just lost 50,000 points. So whoever voted for Sokolov, congratulations to you. You just you just walked out of there with 100,000 points. You spent 10, walked out with 100. Good Lord. <clears throat> Hell of an effort by Fatback. I commend the man by going out there and, and sticking up for his friend and sticking up for the tag team division, which, as I've said, Sokolov has destroyed. We have one tag team left. Or two tag teams left. I'm sorry. You know, no, no, no. I was wrong. There's three. Because we've got the Blackwells. Why? Why do we still have the Blackwells? I don't know. Um, we also have the Cold Bloods, which is cool. Cold Bloods, yay, Cold Bloods. Um, 
I, I think, and then we have the mass saboteurs. Why do we still have the saboteurs? Oh, that's right, because they're the champions, and no one can get to them because Sokolov gets in their way. So, with that being said, we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on and get into a match that involves the Blackwells. We have Betty Blackwell. We have her. What is this? What happened here? I hope that's just a terrible graphic because I don't. We're just going to focus on what it is. It's Brittany Bennett versus Betty Blackwell. Uh, if Bennett wins, then we go on to a, a seventh and final match next week. If Betty wins, we go on to Betty being the number one contender and getting her title shot at I Knew Mania 5. So I hope that the the graphic is wrong. I honestly hope the graphic is wrong. So I am going to bet. I'm betting on Blackwell. We're gonna bet 38k on Blackwell. See, I don't even know what's happening right now. Okay. So everybody's coming out with the people they're supposed to come out with. That's good. That's good. Maybe I can do like a little early morning stream, like Monster Catching Mondays, something like that. I don't know. Betty Blackwell being escorted to the ring by her husband and son. We haven't seen the Blackwells in full force since the first episode. Uh, luckily, they didn't keep doing what they were doing because that was that was a really really rough episode. Thirty minutes long was that episode. Thirty minutes for five matches. I had to play Fall Guys. That's when I discovered that people liked me playing other games. Once again, since we are closing in on the final moments of our match here, uh, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in. Um, Y'all don't have to tune in, but you did. And I, I definitely appreciate it. Especially on Valentine's Day. Y'all should be spending time with peoples, doing stuff with peoples. But you chose to spend time here with us. Playing some Pokemans, watching some wrestling, exploring the world of Nexamon. And here we go. Kick to the midsection. Betty out the gate already. Ooh! Ripping the leg apart. And uh, once again, just 100% focused on the leg. Sends Bennett into the corner. Catches Bennett by the leg again. Good lord, that strategy worked so well for her that first time. And it looks like she's going right back to it. Jawbreaker. Bennett now with an STO. Went for a kick. Got caught in a dragon screw. Rolls through. Both of them missing all of their attacks here. Betty going after that leg again. Good lord. She is just a dominant force on that leg. Kick again. Oh, and Betty. Oh, what the? What was that? Bennett with a knee. Looked like she hurt herself a little bit more than it hurt Betty right there. 
kick to the midsection, and then just runs through. Steadily working on that left leg, and spits the blood. Good lord. Goes for the pin here. Nope. And a knee to the gut. Backbreaker by Betty. And a kick to the knee again, just taking Bennett off her feet. What is what is Betty thinking here? Oh no. Looking for that giant swing. That is one way to put a hurt on your opponent. You, you work and twerk. Uh, uh, twerk. You, you work and tweak that leg. There we go. And then you swing them by it. One, two, no. Bennett is not going down that easy. Deep arm drag. Big right hand by Bennett. Bennett letting Betty know you should have focused on the arms a little bit because she's dropping bombs on her. Oh, and then a stomp. And a knee. That's with the right leg. That's with the right leg. And Betty's been working on the left. One. No. Went for the kick to the midsection. Sweeps the leg. Oh, the pummeling, the pummeling, pummeling by Bennett. Got the side headlock applied. Now a side headlock by Blackwell. Bennett sent into the corner. Elbow shot, kick to the midset, stunner, stunner to Blackwell. Go for the pin. What What is happening? Now the ref wants to... Okay. Two. No. Now the ref wants to make sure he's in pristine position. Knee to the gut. Bennett. I'm about to lose more points. Bennett out here firing on all cylinders. Ooh, headbutt to the back of the head. And slings her away. And a kick to the knee. That damaged knee already. One, two, no. Ooh, and a big clothesline sends Betty tumbling to the outside. Bennett going to the top rope. That's brave. All that work done on the knee. Oh, and a knee drop. Knee drop right to Betty. Oh, my God. That's That sends a message. All that work Betty's been doing, and Bennett is not feeling any of it. She wants that title shot. She wants to be the number one contender. She is going above her pain threshold, not stopping until her body forces her to. Oh, that's a bad place to send him. Bennett is fearlessly walking over there. Jasmine has her back. And drives Betty's head into the ring post. And again. Sends Betty back into the ring. Referee was at a count of nine. We almost had a count out right there. Oh. Went for the kick. Betty. Oh! What was that? Betty went for a kick again. This time, Bennett going after the leg. Betty sent into the corner. Oh! Bennett with a big right hand. Betty wisely rolling outside. Oh. 
Bennett. Carter with another right hand. Giving chase. Went and helped Blackwell up. Only to get back in the ring. She can get her third win. By having Betty get counted out. Decides to go back out there with her. And immediately Betty goes right back after the leg. What was she thinking? Bennett back in the ring. Now Betty making her way back in the ring. Kick to the leg again. Oh, no. Oh! Face first into that middle turnbuckle. Betty spewing the blood. This might be all she wrote right here. Got that arm trapped. Almost broke her arm right there. Betty's tired of being punched. And again, just goes after the leg. Has been it down. Ruthless assault on the leg here. One, two, three. Betty Blackwell secures that final win. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't, I didn't want her to win, but she won. <laughs> All right, we won 71,000 credits. Believe it or not, I am back at the credits I started at whenever I started betting tonight. With her husband and her son standing outside the ring. The three original Blackwells. Congratulations to all of our winners, um, whether it be for credits or, or a match or anything like that. Congratulations um, to myself for getting bodied by... Uh, so, I, I said it off stream, and I'm going to say it again. Um, there is a uh, there is a now kill on sight order for all Deli Birds. If you watch the if you watch the Pokemon stream, you understand why. Anytime I see a Deli Bird from now on, I have to massacre it, even if it's shiny. It has to pay for its wrong its brethren's wrongdoings. The first one, cool, whatever. The second one, that was uncalled for. There should not have been a gang of them. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Be sure to tune in next week. Uh, Betty Blackwell is now the number one contender. For the INCW Women's Championship. Who is going to challenge Sokolov for the for the Sokolov Invitational? Who's like what is VX gonna have to say about Dan Smith effectively cheating to get a win? So many questions. Will we see Boots and Dora the Destroyer again? I don't know. The only way to find out is to tune in next week. We start at 3 p.m. Central, so that way we can knock out some Nexamon. And then as soon as it's 6 p.m. Central, we knock out some INCW, and everything's good in the day. It's just, it's a good time. So until next time, I'm KB Chronic, and as always, y'all have a good one.